Hello, it's Diddy on here, um, and this video is going to be on animating your camera, um, the player's camera in Roblox. Um, and you may have done this before, but a few years ago there was a, a function of the camera introduced called interpolate, which allows you to move the camera between two points. So you can move it from the point that the camera is at currently to wherever you want to move it to. Um, so the function takes two uh, C-frame values, um, but we're going to be using parts in this tutorial, and then we'll just take the C-frame property of those parts. So what I mean by that is we don't actually need to have parts, but I'll be using parts in this tutorial just so we can visualize where the camera's going to be moving to. So if we have a part here, um, I can put it wherever I want, but we'll just put it in the sky here. Yeah make it red so we can see it better. Um, this part is literally completely uh, irrelevant because it doesn't actually serve any purpose apart from showing us a C-frame position. So we'll call this finish. Uh, and you'll notice that there is no C-frame property in the properties of the, this part and that's because C-frame doesn't show up uh, in the properties. But if we go down here to the command bar and we print the C frame of the part, so it's game workspace. Oops. Part C frame. You can. Oh, well, sorry, it's not for cool part, it's called finish. <laughs> okay, here we go. We can see that we get a position value. This is a position and rotation value, and um, that's what C frame is. It's a, it's a position in 3D space, including the orientation of whatever it is we're moving. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to make it so that when the player is in the game, so like this, um, their camera, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll make a button that they press. When they press the button, their camera will move from their, from this view of them, wherever they're, wherever it is actually, it doesn't matter where it is, it will then interpolate to look at this part. Um, so it's actually very easy to do. Firstly though, we need to make sure Everyone knows, knows that this can only be done locally, so you can't call this uh, in a server script. You can't call it from server script service or anything like that. It has to be called from a local sided area. So like starter GUI, starter pack, starter player. Um, starter player replicates stuff into the player's character and into the player's player objects. Um, and starter pack does the same thing with the tools. So, uh, I think we'll, we'll put the script inside the GUI we make. So we'll quickly make a really simple GUI for uh, interpolation, which is essentially a fancy word for animation, um, sort of. Well, it's, it's talking about moving something from one place to another, basically. Uh, so we'll say interpolate here, and there we go. Okay, so when this button is pressed, we want the interpolation to take place. So we'll call this interpolate, and we'll put a local script inside here because remember it's a client-sided, uh, it's client-sided function. So you have to be using a client-sided uh, script. So it has to be a local script, and it has to be in an area that the client has access to. So we'll call this whatever, it doesn't matter what we call it, just like everything else, and you can name whatever you want since you're writing the code, um, but we'll call it interpolation core. Okay. Now, the camera, if you look in the workspace here, we've got, we've got an object called the camera, um, and the camera is what the, is the object which tells uh, the, the, the person where they should be looking, where, where, the, where their viewpoint is. So if we change the properties of the camera or we run a function on the camera, then we're going to move the camera or somehow affect uh, the person's view. So to get the camera, you might say we do game, sorry, local camera equals game workspace camera. But we don't do that because uh, to get the camera that the person's using, we do game workspace current camera. And that gives us the camera that the player is using at the current time. Now, we can see that the camera object here has a few properties. 
and the one the main one we're going to be using is the camera type um, and if we look at playing locally sorry if we look at playing normally uh, we can see that when we look at the workspace camera it's set the camera type is set to custom if I set this to scriptable you can see it just stays in place and what that means is that we can we can uh, manipulate the camera if it's in fixed position we oh well okay I sort of broke it there sorry if it was in custom here we go. if it's in custom we can't actually move this camera uh, it has to be in scriptable f to allow us to use scripts to move it so it makes sense really um, so to set the so well, firstly we're going to obviously want to check that they've pressed the button so we'll say script parent uh, mouse button one click connect function okay so all this means is the player press the button okay um, so what we're going to want to do when they press the button we're going to want to firstly change their cameras uh, camera type because we don't want it to be fixed we want it to be sorry camera type not camera subject uh, we don't want it to be fixed we want it to be of course scriptable and you might say we do I don't know scriptable like this but um, camera type is an enum uh, so we say enum dot uh, camera type and then we say scriptable and the one enum is is basically an ID that identifies this whole thing and it just takes up less memory um, and it makes more sense really to use you can also put a number there but we're going to use that for now because it shows exactly what we're referencing okay we're also gonna we forgot to reference the part that we're gonna be animating to so the part we'll call it finish is game workspace finish uh, and let's wait for child this because it's a local script and they're not very reliable uh, when checking for instances uh, early on in the game because they often haven't loaded in by the time the script's waiting for it okay um, yeah right so we've changed the camera type to scriptable um, but if you remember rightly when we changed it to scriptable before all that happened was it just stayed in a fixed point in in space and um, we could move around our character but the camera stayed in the same place so to actually move the camera to the part we're going to want to say camera interpolate and this is the this is the function we're going to be using now where are we going to want to put the uh, where are we going to move the camera, camera to? Where do we want to in interpolate it to? Uh, well, the first argument is the position we want to interpolate it to. So, um, to do that, we're going to say finish. It's a it's a C frame value, so we have to supply C frame, and we're going to use the part C frame for that. Um, and for the focus, we can also use the part C frame. We'll see how that goes. It just doesn't always work very well. Um, so we'll say it should take three seconds, right? Uh, in fact, actually, we can make this kind of fancy. Uh, we can say, so let's define the player. So player equals game, player's local player. And if we want to make it so the amount of time it takes to, to uh, animate to the part is relative to the distance the player is away from the part, then we're going to do something along the lines of um, oops, player dot character dot humanoid root part now we'll do head uh, position take away finish position and then dot magnitude and what this does is it gives us the distance between the uh, player and the part so we'll say for every stud they should take 0 0.1 seconds maybe so we'll just multiply that by 0 0.1 uh, and let's give it a let's give it a try and see what happens. So if we press interpolate here, you can see that the camera moves over to the red part. It's a bit slow. We can speed that up though, um, and you can see that it goes inside the part because we've set the focus to the part itself. Um, but basically, what the focus is is uh, how far. What the, okay, so the first the first uh, argument is where we want the camera to go to. And the focus is what the camera should be looking at. So when we say uh, it should go to this, it goes to this position, um, but it's also looking at this position. So we really have no power over what it looks like. So if we were to make another part, um, let's say this 
here we go, and we'll make it green, and we'll call it look at. Okay. And if we want to, we can now define this again here. So we'll say look at is equal to game workspace wait for child look at. Okay. And then for the first, sorry, for the second argument, we're going to replace this with look at .c frame. And what that will mean is it still animates to the part, but we're looking at the green part. It's going to focus on the green part, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> Okay, right, so the green part is now right in the center of our screen. So you can see this is really useful. It uh, allows you to really uh, heavily manipulate the camera and uh, do basically whatever you want with it. Um, yeah, if we press interpolate again, obviously nothing's going to happen because we're already in the position. Um, if we wanted to, we could say, let's say after, you know, five seconds, we're going to interpolate back. So we'll say camera interpolate, and then we'll take all these arguments, um, and instead of that, we're going to say player character head uh, head C frame, um, and we'll say it's going to look at. Let's just say player character head for what it's going to look at. And what this should do, is also we're going to want to change the camera type back to custom so that so that it can be used normally, equals enum camera type custom. So now when we press the interpolate button, it will take us to look at the green part, and then it will take us back after five seconds. Um, uh, I'm not sure if interpolate yields. Okay, it doesn't yield, so we're going to need to make it yield. What yield means is it basically waits for it to finish. Uh, so we're going to take this, which is the amount of time uh, that it takes to um, interpolate, and then we're also going to wait that time. We're going to wait for it to finish before we do the five second wait. Uh, and we're going to do, we don't need to do it here because uh, it, we're not doing anything after that. So press it again. And you can see it now animates over to the green part. So we look at the green part. And then it should wait for five seconds. Oh, oh um, not sure why it's done that. Oh, I do know why it's done that, sorry. <laughs> so we're going to redefine. Uh, oh, sorry, it's the same amount of time for both times. So we can just replace this here. And then we're going to add a wait for that, because what's happening is, uh, obviously when you have two things right next to each other with no weight in between, I just added a weight now, um, they basically run pretty much simultaneously, so there was no time for this to interpolate, because it doesn't yield, as in it doesn't wait for it to finish before moving on to the next thing, which is useful uh, and also annoying for different, for different cases. So you can see we animate over to the green part, and we can look at it for five seconds, you know, for, uh, three, two, one, let me move back again, back to the player's head, here we go, and then it should, <laughs> it sh <laughs> should set it back to the correct camera type, I'm not really sure what's happening there, it's a bit weird, um, yeah I don't know why that's happened, it should be setting it back to camera type custom. It probably did. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. Um, I hope this helped you, and have fun with uh, the interpolation function of the camera object. Uh, see you next time.